medicines affecting the central nervous system i am ali i am basically a pharmacist a medical writer and a trainer in this topic uh, to this presentation we focus on the impact of medications on the central nervous system the central nervous system uh, is responsible for processing and controlling most of our bodily functions and consists of the nerves in the brain and spinal cord drugs that affect the cns are used for their effects on perceptions mood cognition behavior and pain relief however these drugs can also have adverse effects such as addiction dependence withdrawal overdose and interactions with other drugs type of drugs that affect the cns Uh, that's the anesthetics, uh, anticonvulsants, anti-emetics, anti-Parkinson's agents, CNS stimulants. Uh, type of drugs uh, basically affect the central uh, nervous system are also muscle relaxants, narcotic analgesics, uh, non-narcotic analgesics, and sedatives. Mechanical action. And drugs that affect the central uh, nervous system act on several neurotransmitters, which are chemical messengers that transmit signals between neurons. Some of the major neurotransmitters involved in CNS drug actions are acetylcholine. This neurotransmitter is involved in memory formation, learning, attention, arousal, and muscle contraction. Drugs that increase acetylcholine levels or activity are called cholinergic agonists or cholinesterase inhibitors. They are used to treat uh, Alzheimer's disease and dyspnea virus. Drugs that decrease uh, acetylcholine levels or activity are called anticholinergic or muscarinic antagonists. They are used to treat Parkinson's disease and overactive bladder. As far as dopamine is concerned, and this neurotransmitter is involved in reward processing, motivation, movement control, movement control, and mood regulation. And drugs that increase dopamine level or activity are called dopaminergic agonists or reuptake inhibitors. They are used to treat Parkinson's disease and ADHD. Drugs that decrease dopamine levels or activity are called dopaminergic antagonists or blockers. They are used to treat schizophrenia and nausea. GABA. This neurotransmitter is involved in inhibiting neuro, uh, neuronal activity and producing uh, action medications. And drugs that increase GABA levels uh, activity are called GABAergic. agonist or enhancers they are used to treat anxiety disorders insomnia epilepsy and muscle uh, concerns drugs that decrease gaba levels or activity are called gaba anesthetic antagonists or inhibitors they are used to treat uh, narcolepsy cataplexy and cognitive enhancement Next reaction, glutamate. Uh, this neurotransmitter is involved in in excitatory neuronal activity and learning. Drugs that increase uh, glutamate levels or activity are called glutamatergic agonists or enhancers. They are used to treat cognitive impairments, depression, and stroke recovery. Drugs that decrease glutamate levels or activity are called glutamatergic agonists or blockers. They are used to treat epilepsy, migraine, and Neuro degenerations, not epinephrine. These neurotransmitters are involved in alertness, attention, stress response, and blood pressure regulations. Drugs that increase not epinephrine level or activity are called adrenergic agonists or reuptake inhibitors. They are used to treat ADHD, depression, and hypertension. Drugs that decrease not epinephrine levels or activity are called adrenergic antagonists or blockers. They used to treat hypertension, angina, arrhythmias. Uh, serotonin, this uh, neurotransmitter is involved in mood regulation, appetite control, sleep cycle, and pain perceptions. Drugs that increase serotonin level or activity are called serotonergic agonists or rehabilitative inhibitors. They are used to treat depression, anxiety disorders, obsessive compulsive disorders, and migraine. 
drugs that decrease serotonin level or activity are called serotonergic antagonists of locus. They are used to treat schizophrenia, nausea, and irritable bowel syndrome. Conclusion Drugs that affect the CNS have a wide range of therapeutic and recreational uses, but they also pose significant risks and challenges. It is important to understand that the mechanism of action, effects, and side effects of these drugs and use them with caution and other medical supervision. You can contact me at uh, 923005341906 and my email address is ali.tenon at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you very much. See you next time. Take care. Bye.